Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. The developer of this software, SuperClerk, he emailed me and said, hey, I've, I've got bank conversion software. Do you want to test it? And I'm like, sure. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've downloaded my um, bank statement for Bank America, and I'm just going to pop it in here and see if it converts. I'm on a trial that I set up just a few minutes ago. So we're going to learn how to do this together. I'm going to click on sign in. Um, it's already signed me in. That's great. And then choose a bank statement. So I'm going to go ahead and convert. Oh, file. Choose file. There we go. So this open uh, output type. I, I feel like I need CSV to upload to QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to change this to CSV and I'll just ask it to convert. Okay. So it says that it convert. No. It doesn't say that it's converted. I believe that it's converted because I saw something go up to the right hand side of my screen and it says one of five bank statements used. There isn't an alert. So if you were to walk away and come back, I don't know how you would know that it's converted. Let me just grab that file and upload it to QuickBooks Online. All right. Took longer than I care to admit, but I finally logged into my QuickBooks. I'm going to go to Bank Transactions. I'll click the drop down to the right of link account and I'll select upload from file. Select files, select this thing and continue. Um, add new. I'm going to make a whole new account for this. So credit card demo. Um, Super clerk import, save and close, continue. I did not look at the CSV, so uh, we'll see if this works. And if it doesn't, I'll go back and look and see. Um, uh, okay, the date all has caution symbols, so I got that wrong. Uh, let's go back. I'll make it dashes, continue. No. All right, hold on. Okay, so this is the file that it made for me. Um, the first thing I noticed is that um, these dollars over here are in column D. When I upload the file, I'm going to say all my numbers are in one column and it's not going to pull in the 3306. Um, but I can see it goes date, uh, it goes year, month, day. So let me go back to QuickBooks. And then I'll go back, go year, month, day, continue, all these things. Um, so that's the one we knew wouldn't import. And it doesn't import because the numbers are in the wrong column. I'm not going to deal with fixing it for the purpose of this video. I'm done. Okay, so everything shows up in the spend column. Oh, wrong one. Oh, I reversed it. I do this every so often. See how I like the stuff is in the spend and receive. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to upload and this time I'll do it correctly. Uh, it remembers. So that's good. This, this, that. Reverse the values, select them all, uncheck the caution symbol, continue, yes. Okay, so now it's showing up in the correct columns. Um, yeah, so I, it was fairly quick. Um, I don't love that it didn't tell me that the conversion was done. I don't love that it messed up on the one thing and if I, wasn't opening the Excel file. If I was just uploading and moving forward with my day, um, I would totally miss that and then get frustrated when it doesn't reconcile our balance. But it is something worth considering. Um, there are lots of solutions out there to convert your PDF files into an Excel or CSV file, including this one. 
I don't know anything about this company. I don't know anything about the developer. It's just a person who messaged me on a day when I had some free time. I personally use Money Thumb and PropperSoft, but if I've got the time, I don't mind running a quick demo just to show people what else is out there because it's different strokes for different folks. Just because I love something doesn't mean you're going to love something. All right. If you have questions, contact the developer directly. If you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me create, don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks.